a camera can take us into the very interior of a nuclear weapon as the weaponeer makes final preparations for detonation. It shows us ground zero as it appears from 25,000 feet on the final bomb run. It slows down the split second birth of a nuclear blast so that we can apply a tape measure to it. Normally at Mercury, Nevada, we were about four miles was the closest we would get to stand in the open and photograph. We used to put cameras in steel containers much closer and run them remotely. Maybe sometimes we could go a little closer if it was a small yield weapon. The smaller the weapon, the closer you get. I think the troops they had in the, on Tumblr Snapper were like a mile and a half. A special camera called the Rapidtronic was developed at EG&G to photograph the initial burst of energy in the first millionth of a second. Six cameras simultaneously captured the progression of the fireball as it vaporized the tower. Here, these images are combined to give the impression of motion. I believe Wahoo and Umbrella were the first two underwater shots that I ever observed close up. I was about two and a half miles from them, and then suddenly this gigantic column of water shot straight up into the air. And uh, you could then see how gigantic the height of that uh, wave was. 